Every year, investors lose billions of dollars to investment fraud. Even savvy investors can fall victim to scams. Rebecca Wiggins works with the Association for Financial Counseling and Planning Education, or AFCPE. I think that education is absolutely what is at the level playing field for all people so that they aren't falling prey to scams and fraud and other you know, poor choices that we otherwise wouldn't make if we had that information at the outset. Janice Hitzman is an attorney with the Ohio Division of Securities Department of Enforcement. Janice investigates securities fraud, and there's one piece of advice she has for keeping investments safe. My advice would be to exercise caution in all of your affairs. At some point, if you want to return, you need to invest. So you just need to take all of the necessary steps to make sure that the person that, and the company that you're dealing with is legitimate before you turn over your hard-earned dollars. Avoiding common investment myths is a good start. One myth starts close to home. So oftentimes, people will get referrals from family members or from friends. And in those instances, you want to trust the information that somebody that you trust is providing to you. Janice recommends confirming with the Ohio Division of Securities that the investment offered is licensed for sale and that the individual selling the investment is licensed to do so. This is an area of caution for many retired and elderly people who are looking to maximize their return on investment. And so many scammers will focus and target that population so that they can offer guaranteed returns or high returns that these people aren't seeing in traditional investments. So don't always invest solely with the offering that provides the best return. We always say if it sounds too good to be true, it probably is. Janice also cautions against making rash decisions. If you have someone trying to sell you an investment and they tell you that they need an answer right away or you have 24 hours to give them a response, that is a red flag. Many issuers commit frauds through the use of self-directed IRAs. Self-directed IRAs are a legitimate investment. Janice recommends investors pay close attention to the statements they are given because scammers can make convincing fakes. Investors are lured into believing and relying on those statements because they're in writing, because they're coming from a, a custodian that they believe and they trust is working in their best interest. And it lulls the investor into a false sense of security. And the thing to remember is that statements, any type of written document can be created on a laptop at home with all of the software that's available now. In Ohio, there's a separate charge for publishing a false statement as to the value of securities. Exercise caution, and if something seems suspicious, call the Ohio Division of Securities. The Ohio Division has a toll-free investor hotline. Investors that are considering an investment can contact the division at 1-877-683-7841, and we can provide information to the investor to help them make a solid investing decision. More information is available at wi65.org Ohio. This message made possible by the Association for Financial Counseling and Planning Education.